as you're lifting your hands above your head lift your hands above your head as a sign of surrender today is the grand finale of oh lord settle me i want you to lift up your hands as a sign of surrender somebody i want you to declare three times oh lord, oh lord. settle me settle somebody me. declare oh lord, oh lord. Settle, me. settle me oh lord, oh lord. settle me Somebody say, Oh Lord, oh Lord. set on my family. My oh Lord, oh Lord. set on my concerns. My concerns. Oh, Lord. oh Lord, set on my career. Set on my business. Set on my ministry. My oh, Lord. oh Lord, set on my finances. My finances. Somebody say, Oh Lord. Oh Lord. Set on my matter. The Lord told me tonight is a night of divine settlement. Amen. As you are lifting your hands as a sign of surrender, mention that area that you need God to settle. As you are leaving this service, I declare yes. the Lord will settle your concerns. Open your mouth and begin to mention that area. To those that are watching us around the world, in North America, in South America, in Canada, in Australia, all over Europe, in the United Kingdom, in Germany, in Italy, in Switzerland, in Belgium, in France, all over the Middle East, in Dubai, Qatar, Kuwait, Oman, Saudi Arabia, wherever you are, in the Caribbeans, in the Bahamas, in Trinidad and Tobago, you're watching us from Asia, India, Malaysia, Singapore, China, Hong Kong, Russia, wherever you are, Ukraine, you're watching us in Africa, South Africa, Namibia, Botswana, Swaziland, you are in Angola, Mozambique, you are in Zambia, DRC, Congo, you are watching us live in the East African community, South Sudan, Uganda, Tanzania, Tanzania, Rwanda, Burundi, you're watching us live right here in Kenya. You are in Ethiopia, Nigeria, Ghana. You are watching us live from Liberia. Wherever you are, you are not watching by chance, by accident, or by coincidence. You are watching by divine appointment. And I stand as an oracle to declare yes. settlement is coming in the name of Jesus. Every unsettled area of your life it is receiving divine settlement in the name of jesus i want you to share this broadcast three times share this broadcast on your timeline share it on your groups copy the link and send it to your groups let somebody be blessed by this word god has sent me as a messenger with a message to declare your time of divine settlement has come stretch your hands to the altar I saw in the realm of the spirit there are people that God is going to settle maritally Amen. and I decree and declare yes. no more delays in your marital settlement no may God release your God ordained for us you will not meet counterfeit spouse yes. you will not meet time wasters yes. I release your roof yes. you are God ordained spouse in the name of Jesus yes. anyone here anyone watching yes. that needs marital settlement yes. I declare let it come speedily in the name of Jesus I release prophetic speed for divine settlement I see in the realm of the spirit they are people that need settlement in their marriage you are in a marriage that is going through turbulent times I declare settlement that marriage will no longer be a frustration it will be a fulfillment that marriage will no longer be an endurance it will be enjoyment somebody lift your hands and my father my man Maker, Settle, Settle me. me. My case is urgent. Case Somebody is urgent. say, oh Lord. oh Lord. Lift your hand and say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. My case is urgent. My case is urgent. I am singing the realm of the spirit. Somebody that is in a dead crisis. God is about to settle your matter. Every spirit that is pushing your finances to bankruptcy. I command it catch fire. I release settlement of our finances and debts. The God that wrote off debts for the children of Israel. The God that intervened and gave divine settlement.
moment yes. when the widow woman met the prophet Elisha she became an oil entrepreneur she received the miracle of supernatural debt cancellation by this prophetic encounter with the grace that is upon this altar oh, yes, and sir. upon my life yes, I declare receive settlement in the name of I Jesus receive, somebody if you need financial settlement lift your hand and those that are watching declare financial settlement financial I declare settlement. new financial doors are opening open. between now and the end of the year yes, I open new financial doors open. I open new financial avenues open. your pockets will not go dry Prophesy. every spirit of financial frustration oh, yes. every spirit of financial embarrassment yes, I declare catch fire. catch fire your bills will be paid oh, yes. your debts will be cancelled yes. I stand on this altar I declare yes, financial God. settlement financial settlement may God give you multiple streams of income Amen. wherever your finances are tied oh, yes. I speak a release I as you believe this word let it happen speedily in the name I of receive, Jesus receive, receive, it is the prophecy you believe that happens in your life prophesy. it is the prophecy you believe that works for you yes, so second God. Chronicles 2020 says believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established ah. and believe in his prophets oh, and so you shall prosper prophecy. I stand on this altar yes, so as an oracle of God yes, I stand not as an orator oh, yes. I stand as an oracle Prophesy. God's authorized mouthpiece oh, yes. I declare financial doors are opening Open. financial settlement oh, yes. receive in the name of Jesus receive. receive financial breakthrough before these eight days of prayer and fasting is over yes, I prophesy to those here and online Prophesy. go and receive a major financial I breakthrough receive, I, receive. I decree and declare financial breakthrough financial freedom oh, and financial establishment somebody shout I receive I receive I decree and declare yes, I am seeing settlement for people that have been out of employment for a long time Officer. I release your high paying permanent job Amen. as you go for that interview oh, yes. as you apply for that job oh, I, I declare settlement oh, yes. let favor announce you Amen. let favor speak for you Amen. I am seeing also people that are getting settled in ministry yes. you have not been in alignment with your call and with your purpose but in this service I declare oh, yes. settlement in your area of calling Oh, yes. you will not be confused oh, yes. I hear the Lord say no more confusion no, confusion. no more disappointment no more, no more limitations no more hindrances no I decree and declare yes, the God. disappointments are over. over I decree and declare yes, settlement upon the life of your children Amen. I am seeing divine settlement Prophesy. in the life of your children settlement in your career I, I see some you are going through a turbulent time in your career and you don't know if you're going to lose that job I hear the Lord say settlement is coming I see somebody shut up you've been believing God for home ownership but you are still living in a rented house I release the grace of settlement look at your neighbor tell them receive the grace of settlement tell your neighbor neighbor receive the grace to build you will build your house you will buy your house and you will live in it somebody say I will build my house and I will live in it I will buy buildings I will own commercial property somebody says settlement somebody say oh Lord settle me I am seeing in the realm of the spirit people that have been going through challenges in the area of land somebody is contending and sitting on your land illegally and they are refusing with your land I create an agency in the realm of the spirit I command them to vacate out of your land let every court case that is in court because of land let it be won in your favor Amen. anyone that is dealing with any court case yes, whether here or watching us live oh, yes. receive settlement in the name of Jesus somebody say oh Lord, oh, Lord. settle me Set say oh Lord oh Lord, oh, Lord. 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 Oh, Lord.
children. Set all my children. Oh Lord. Set all me. I hear the Lord say, You will not be stranded in your journey of destiny. Between now and the end of the year, I release the finishing anointing. Every incompleted project in your life, I release divine settlement. Any project you started, and along the way, the projects began to stagnate. I decree and declare, let every incompleted project be completed. You started to build a house. You started something, but along the way, ah, shaka baragadoska. I hear the Lord say, He is the Alpha and Omega. He is not the God of a of abandoned project. I release the finishing anointing. Somebody you enrolled to study, but along the way something happened that interrupted it. I declare completion of everything that is incomplete in your life. Somebody say, Oh Lord, my case is urgent. Somebody say, Oh Lord, set on my matter, set on my concerns. I decree and declare anything that was stealing your joy, it is silenced from this service. I decree and declare any battle that has been training you spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, financially. I stand as an oracle. I declare that battle is over. Open your mouth and declare that battle is over. Wherever you are watching me from, I see immigrational issues that need divine settlement. I am seeing immigrational issues. Immigrational issues. Shatabaragadoska. Anyone that is here or watching, you have an immigrational issue. Either to do with visa, permanent residence, work permit, green card. I hear the Lord say, your settlement has come. God will bypass process. God will bypass protocol. God will bypass procedure. Favor will speak for you. Yes, sir. Stretch your hands to the altar. Oh, yes. I want you for 30 seconds pray for your family. Don't pray for yourself. Mention the names of your family members that need settlement. Mention the areas. If they need a job, if they need marriage, if they need settlement, whichever area, in business, in career, whichever area they need settlement, ministry, begin to mention their names. Begin to pray. Begin to speak. You are the deliverer of your family. You are the pattern breaker. You are the line breaker you are the barrier breaker you are the history maker in your family open your mouth and begin to pray for your family Shatarabakadoska. in the realm of the spirit god is telling me to pray for somebody because of the family there is a marriage that god is about to restore Shatabaragadoska. settlement is coming upon your life and in the realm of the spirit i'm hearing a name like evelyn then i'm hearing kanana the Lord is telling me to pray concerning restoration of marriage. Prophecy. Restoration of marriage. Oh, yes. Restoration of marriage. Yes. What is your name? What is your name? Evelyn Kanana. Shut up. Can I prophesy? prophesy? Very quickly because of time. When I look at you in the realm of the spirit, the Lord is telling me he's going to restore your marriage. The Lord is telling me he's going to restore your marriage. I am seeing you expectant in the realm of the spirit. I am seeing you in a marriage. But immediately you conceive, my God, there is an attack on your marriage and i am seeing the man walking out of you and in the realm of the spirit i am going to 20th october 2021 20th october 2021 it was a tack there for you because i see this man walking out of your life Shut up, and i am seeing you are expectant and you are wondering what shall be of my future what shall be of my child stand up i want to pray for you god reveals to redeem look at your neighbor tell them he reveals to redeem he reveals to redeem i see your face i see your case oh, i see your case i prophesy. prophesy if i call you a case in the realm of the spirit and you are not ready to respond i leave you i move to the next can i prophesy, prophesy. as i look at you what happened on the 21st of october 2021 20th 20th october 2021 because i see this man living 
Uh huh. He just left. Somebody said the devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. Because I see you walking in the journey of pregnancy. Mm. And I see you walking this journey alone. Because this husband, this man left you. How many people know that God can settle her? How many people know that God can restore her? Because I am seeing you in the labor room. And in that labor room, you have a mixture of thoughts. You are like, Lord, I am bringing a child into this world. But where is the father of this child? And I'm going back into the realms of time. And I'm seeing this year, 30th of June, 2022. I am seeing 30th of June. And I'm seeing you in labor. Shata Baragadoska. When did you deliver? 30th June. 30th June, 2022. Can I prophesy? prophesy. How Come many on. people know that the husband is coming back? Oh, yes. I want you to mark the time and the date. Mm. If I be an oracle, oh, which you I call your husband back in, in the, name, the of name of Jesus. I am hearing Ken Fred. Who is Ken Fred? He's the father of my child. He's the father of your child. Can Jesus. I prophesy? Prophesy. Stretch your hands towards him. Shata Baragadoska. Uh, hear me as I hear the Lord. Any witchcraft altar that has been fighting and contending with your destiny from your family lineage. Because in the realm of the spirit, I am in Meru. And I am going to, I am proceeding. And I'm finding myself in a place called Maua. What is your connection to Maua? It is your birthplace. Somebody say, any witchcraft altar. Any witchcraft altar. From my place of birth. From my place of birth. That is stopping and hindering my settlement. That is stopping and hindering my Somebody settlement. say, catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Fire, fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. The Lord is breaking every altar. And every bloodline cast in your lineage. Somebody lift your hand. Say every bloodline cast in my lineage. Every bloodline cast in my lineage. Somebody say catch fire. Catch fire. Somebody say it ends today. It ends today. It ends today. Now listen, three things are going to happen. Shata Baragadoska. Zipragadeshka Lagraska. The Lord is saying before 21st November. 21st November. God is going to change your story. I am seeing the Lord opening a new chapter. And I am seeing 21st November. I am seeing 21st November. What is 21st November? It's, it's his birthday. We share a birthday. You share a birthday. Can I prophesy? Yeah. Bring the oil. How many people know God can restore? Oh, yes. Somebody say, oh Lord, settle her. Oh Lord, settle her. I use her as a point of contact. Oh, yes. For anyone here and anyone watching around the world. Yes, my prophet. That needs restoration and settlement. Yes, oracle. Anything that the devil took from you that is yours. Oh, yes. From this altar of fire. Hey. From this altar of testimony. Jesus. I speak a release in the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak a release in the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak a release in the name of Jesus. Amen. And you have been having dreams. And you always see yourself going back. Dreams of backwardness. You always see yourself back in the village. Somebody say every demonic dream. Every, demonic every dream. negative dream. Every negative dream. I have dreamt for myself. I have dreamt for myself. Or people have dreamt about me. Dreamt Somebody about say I cancel it by fire. I cancel it by fire. It will never come to pass. It will never come to pass. Somebody say every demonic dream. Every demonic dream. I have dreamt or people have dreamt. I have dreamt of Concerning me or my family, I nullify by the blood of Jesus. Somebody say, I cancel. Open your mouth and begin to cancel, cancel, cancel. Any demonic dream, I stretch my hand in America, in Canada, in Australia, all the way in the Middle East, in Asia, in Africa. I cancel that dream now. Fire! Shut up, Aragados. I want you to bring your child. You will not raise that child as a single mother. I'm hearing this child will be majestic. Amen. The Lord says this child will be majestic. Amen. That is what God is telling me. Majestic. I see majesty surrounding this child. What is the name of this child? Her name is majesty. Can I prophesy? Of God. Yeah. You are too much. The Bible says as for us and
and our children Objects. we are for signs and wonders yeah. the bible says the seed of the righteous will be mighty yes. and the generation of the upright will be blessed Objects. i stand to declare you will raise, you will raise this child together with your husband come stretch your hands everybody i use them as a point of contact any witchcraft altar i use you as a point of contact i am seeing joseph and duncan who are these Shatabaragadoska, Zeproska, Magadesh, Zende, Lagraska, Zatabayagadesh, Zipa, Legraska, Zende, Zegadeshka. I am counting to number five. How many siblings are you in the family? Six. You are six. I cancel every plan, every plot, every yes. scheme of the devil yes. against your family. Somebody say, I cancel every attack. I cancel every attack. In the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, it is done. Somebody say, it is done. Oh Lord. Settle me. Settle me. Somebody say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Hey, come on, lift your hands. Say, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Settle me. Settle me. Look at your neighbor, tell them settlement is coming. Settlement is coming. Look at your neighbor, tell them settlement is coming. Settlement is coming. In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus. Somebody say, I receive settlement. I receive settlement. Somebody say, I receive settlement. I receive settlement. I want everybody to hold a prophetic offering in this grand finale. Before I give you the signs and I want the pastoral, I'm going to give each one of you a bottle of oil. After this, after this, after this brief message that I'm about to share, I want everybody that is here and everybody that is watching, take a prophetic offering right now. A prophetic offering to say, oh Lord, I seal this prophetic word on the altar of fire, on the altar of ECC, on the altar of testimony. I want you to hold a prophetic offering of whatever God is laying in your heart. You can either give on M-Pesa, on Paybill, if you're giving on your bank card, there's a kingdom hostess with the PDQ machine. She will be standing right here. If you're giving uh, via, uh, via your mobile device, check the details if you're giving you have it tangibly touch the altar and say oh lord settle me i want you to begin with this side this row if you have that seed if it's on your mobile device just touch the altar and say oh lord two rows at a time two rows beginning this side to those that are watching us live from across the nations of the world we are starting eight days of prayer and fasting and the lord has mandated me tonight before we start the eight days of prayer and fasting to pray for 30 people that are sowing a prophetic seed of $30. You're watching me 30 people that are sowing a prophetic seed of $30. I will be speaking to you one on one via video call after the midnight prayer tonight. 30 of you, your family, your life has been under demonic attack. I want to speak to you. I want to speak to you. I want to speak to you one on one via video call. I want you, if you're part of the 30, you can give that seed of 30 US dollars. I want you to sow it on this altar. It is a covenant with God that you are saying, oh Lord, settle me. Psalms 50 verse 5 says, gather my people together. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. 30 of you. Everybody else sow as you are led. But 30 of you. I want to speak to you one on one via video call. 30 of you. 30 of you. 30 of you. To those that are online, that are asking how they can give thank you to those that are online that are asking how they can give remember you can give on paypal you can give on web via mpesa you can give on the ministry mpesa line to those in east africa the details are pinned on the comment section the details are on the caption of this live broadcast don't miss tonight midnight prayer to the glory of god and of you i am seeing you face to face via video call i have a prophetic word for you i have a prophetic instruction from the lord i am anointed for you when god shed use your deliverance he shed use your deliverer i want you to show what god is laying in your heart somebody say i break every witchcraft altar, I break every witchcraft altar. the seed you are sowing is not just for you it will speak for you and your family somebody shout i receive it, I receive it. 
I want to acknowledge in the house today we have the servant of God all the way from Tanzania, Apostle Peter Nyaga, the demon bulldozer. He's back in Nairobi, Kenya. And he is also the CEO of Urejesha TV. And actually our programs today are also running live on Urejesha TV that is viewed not only here in Kenya, but in the East African community and in 47 nations around the world. Already Urejesha has moved from just Kenya to Tanzania, but to many other countries. And there are people that are watching this live service in 47 nations around the world, in Nigeria and in different parts of the world. And he has given us this programming as a blessing to the ECC family can we just honor the grace that is upon this servant of God and we were speaking in the office and I told him what a coincidence that he's always here when we are praying and fasting and I said to him you know it is because he carries a deliverance mantle and I believe these eight days will be eight days of deliverance eight days of the prophetic eight days of power eight days of glory eight days of the miraculous apostle Peter Nyaga, we love you at ECC together with your wife and family and welcome to Nairobi, Kenya. Please appreciate grace in the name of Jesus. Celebrate grace. Amen. I'm only reading one verse and then I'm going to give you the signs. I said in today's service, I am speaking about the signs, the signs. Can I have Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12? Ephesians chapter 6 and verse 12. Tomorrow we will be having prayer mountains at the prayer, at the prayer mountain. And we are going to be praying for you and standing in the gap. And it says, uh huh. so I'm going to be giving you signs to know if you are under demonic attack. Because I'm going to be giving you prophetic direction and also how to cancel this demonic attack. Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers uh, of darkness of this age, against the spiritual host of wickedness in heavenly places. Listen to me again. Can we read it together? Put it on screen. Somebody say, for we do not wrestle. Against flesh, against flesh and blood. And blood. Somebody say, but, but against principalities, principalities. Against, powers. against powers, against the rulers of darkness, the rulers of, darkness. Of, this age. of this age, against a spiritual host of wickedness, spiritual host of wickedness. In, heavenly places. in the heavenly places. Now, to those that are here that are asking, what are the signs to know if you are under demonic attack? The first sign is unexplainable cycles of negative patterns. You have unexplainable cycles of negative patterns in your life. Consistent loss in your life. Some of you have loss of jobs that you cannot explain. Loss of relationship. Constantly getting, you know, losses with no explanation. So the first one is unexplainable uh, cycles of negative patterns. Every time it is cycles of negative patterns. And today we are canceling them even to those that are watching in the name of Jesus and the next one is inability to control destructive addictions you know uh, if you are under demonic attack you will find it difficult to control you have the inability to control destructive addiction you are tired of sinning you desire to change your ways but there is something that is always holding you back and some of you have destructive addiction some of you alcoholic addictions some of you have all kinds of addictions Addictions. But I declare today we are breaking every form of addiction in the name of Jesus. The third sign to know if you are under demonic attack is consistent delay. You have consistent delay consistent delay stagnation and setback whatever you start you are unable to finish there is nothing that you start that you are able to finish my god somebody said the error must be corrected the error must be correct can you imagine there is always a force that is working behind your success to make sure anything you start you cannot finish another sign that you are under demonic attack is short-lived success you never see the fruit of your breakthrough you have short-lived success success you are unable to sustain 
obtain the blessing of God. My God, another sign is uncontrollable barrenness. You are never fruitful. To be dry means to be barren. To be, to be barren means to be dry, to be desert-like, to be unproductive, to be unfruitful. So you are never fruitful. There is always emptiness in your finances, emptiness in your home, emptiness in your career, emptiness in your health, emptiness in your ministry. Somebody say, I cancel it. I Another sign of somebody under demonic attack is profitless hard work. You are always facing frustration and no life satisfaction. It is true you are working hard. You have much labor but little result. Somebody said the devil is a liar. The devil is Another sign of someone under demonic attack is sicknesses that defy medical diagnosis. Sicknesses that defy medical diagnosis. You have sicknesses that defy no matter which hospital you can you move from. Even if you go to the best of hospitals, they are unable. You That sickness defies medical diagnosis. That is a sign of somebody that is under demonic attack. Another sign is backwardness. Instead of going forward, you are always suffering retrogression. You may take one step today, but you find that tomorrow you take five steps backward. Somebody say, I cancel it in the name of Jesus. Another sign of someone that is under demonic attack is difficulty in making spiritual progress. You have difficulty. Even now that I'm announcing this clarion call for prayer and fasting, you are like, hmm. Ask your neighbor, by the way, are you going to be fasting? An online church, sons and daughters, partners of this ministry, I hope you're joining us for the fast. If you, if you are not going to be joining us in this fasting, just know that you have difficulty in making spiritual progress and you are under demonic attack. You find it difficult to pray. You find it difficult to fast. You find it difficult to read the word. That is a sign of someone under demonic attack. Another sign is constant failure at the edge of breakthrough. The spirit of almost there but never there. The devil is a liar. And the last one is you are hated for no reason. You are always facing rejection. People hate you for no reason at your workplace. You know, you are always hated and rejected for no reason. Somebody said today, I am dealing with it. Today, I am dealing with it. Somebody said today, today, I am dealing with it. Dealing now, how do you deal with the uh, demonic attacks number one redemption is in christ you must give your life to jesus redemption is only through christ if you're not in christ you are in crisis so the first one is redemption in christ number two is revelation of the word of god you need a rema word like the word i'm giving you today you need the word the word of god is the life of god the word of god is the power of god the word of god is the wisdom of god number three you need to establish god's pattern in your life you must renounce every attachment every evil attachment to the kingdom of darkness because even some of you before you gave your life to Jesus you visited witches sorcerers you visited sangomas and inyangas somebody said the devil is a liar you are giving charms and you are using charms somebody said the devil is a crazy liar so you must renounce every attachment to the kingdom of darkness. Hallelujah. So you must call your name, your life, your destiny, your finances, your health from every evil altar that is containing your names, your pictures and your finances. Are you listening to me? And the last one, you must also covenant to God by sacrifice. There are people that have been believers for 10 years, 15 years, but have never given God a sacrifice. Sacrifice is choosing to honor God in a big way when you are giving a sacrifice to god you must not see in it money you must see in it your destiny are you listening to me psalms 50 verse 5 gather my people together those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice ask your neighbor have you ever given god a sacrifice Sacrifice is when you give to God and it, 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 it inconveniences you. If it does not inconvenience you, it is not a sacrifice. If it does not touch you, it is not a sacrifice. There is a difference between offering and sacrifice. And it is important to raise an altar to God by the power of your sacrifice. It is what touches you that touches God. It is what moves you that moves God. And even as we are closing this uh, settlement conference, I hear the Lord say, there is 77 people some are here some are watching and God is speaking to you to give a sacrifice whatever God is laying in your heart 
I want you to do it before I give you the oil. And for the online viewers, I am going to also be praying for your oil. Prepare that oil that you will use for eight days. And for those that are here, I'm giving you that oil. You will carry it in your home and you will also come back with it on a Friday service. Friday, we are going also to be having Holy Communion. We shall be partaking of the Lord's table together. Amen. Tell your neighbor, are you fasting or feasting? Let me see those that are joining in the fast. Amen. You can fast either 6 a.m. to 1 p.m. You can fast 6 a.m. to 3 p.m. And you can fast 6 to 6 p.m. After 6 p.m., take your usual meal. And you can also take water. And remember, fasting is refraining from food for a spiritual cause. So don't fast and then you are not praying. Are you getting it? That is dieting. Fasting, you know, refraining from food without prayer is dieting. Tell your neighbor, don't diet fast. So be in the spirit. Are you listening to me? So I want those that are here that are tithers and those that feel led in their heart to give a sacrifice to the Lord, uh, to lift up their hands. I want to pray for tithers. Then I distribute the oil uh, in Jesus' name. You are here, you are a tither, or you are feeling led in your heart to give a sacrifice on the altar. Even as we are concluding, this someone of all oh Lord settle my matter. You are saying, let God settle me to the 10th generation. My great-grandchildren will never beg for bread. My great-grandchildren will never be homeless my god i receive generational wealth if you need an envelope lift up your hands if you are giving your tithe or your sacrifice is on your mobile device please check the altar check the screens all, all, all over the auditorium for the ministry and personal line and the ministry pay bill number if you are giving and your giving is on your bank card there is a kingdom hostess with the pdq machine please lift up your hands well so that the kingdom hostesses can see you to those that are watching our sons and daughters us, global partners fearless generation i want you to join us in these eight days the number eight is the number of new beginnings the lord told me this is the first that will rewrite the history of your life this is the first you will never forget in the chronicles of your life i want you to join us because distance is not a barrier in the realm of the spirit and you need to join us in the midnight prayer tonight also and remember there are 30 of you that are giving a, a, an offer offering of 30 US dollars to covenant with this ministry to support this ministry and there are people that have their tithes and their partnership I want you to prepare in Jesus name amen please come make your way to the altar you are tight is the connection to the protection of your finances you are tight is what brings judgment to the enemy of your prosperity Ah, shata baragadoska you are tight is a weapon somebody say my tight is a weapon come to the altar if you're here you are a tither or you're watching us live those that are watching us live you can give on paypal you can give on wave you can give on wave via mpesa mpesa the ministry banking details i want everybody to connect don't be a spectator every miracle requires your participation tell your neighbor every miracle requires your participation don't be a spectator. I want you to be a participator. It is only in your giving that you can try God. The Bible says, try me now in this and see if I will not open the windows of heaven. You are tight makes God a shareholder of whatever you do. You are tight rebukes the devourer. Devourers are eaters of finances. You are tight brings judgment to the enemy of your prosperity. You are tight attracts the overflowing blessing of God into your life. May you never forget God when you get what you prayed for. You have your tithe. I want to, even our father of faith Abraham was a tither. In Genesis chapter 14, verse 18 to verse 20, when he met Melchizedek, he gave a tithe of all. And God saw by his name that in blessing he would bless him. Father, I thank you for every tither. I release the Abrahamic blessing upon your life. I declare prosperity and abundance. I activate God's favor and blessing for settlement. I declare your hands are blessed. Whatever you touch is blessed. You are coming into a season of productivity. The season of working and not producing is over. I declare you are blessed and highly favored amongst men. I decree and declare 
everything you shall do prospers and succeeds in the name of Jesus I release the wisdom of God for financial decision I declare supernatural debt cancellation I declare your mortgage your cars your debts are paid off I declare you will not go back into debt by the end of this year I release the miracle of supernatural debt cancellation I declare God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory I prophesy supernatural supply I command financial recovery and restoration let your finances be released I command you financial avenues new financial openings home and abroad to be open for you go and prosper go and succeed in Jesus name amen touch the altar go and prosper go and succeed hold your phone your documents and the pictures of your loved ones father in the name of jesus i thank you for every picture that is lifted up i use it as a point of contact i declare divine settlement every cv every certificate bank cards that are lifted i declare settlement court cases settlement immigration or matters concerning visas work permit green card resident permit i declare settlement in the name of Jesus any area of your life that needs settlement I declare settlement I speak to every phone that is lifted I declare good news on calls on emails on whatsapp on text messages good news uh, uh, in the name of Jesus uh, in your Mpesa account in your bank account uh, may you receive a bank alert uh, may the money you have never received come into your bank account uh, come into your hands this week uh, may God connect you to your destiny helpers may god plant you in the heart of your helpers may god give you favor with those in position to favor you this week i declare the anointing of settlement may the angels of this house go with you as you are leaving this place the oil of protection the oil of preservation i declare strange testimonies miracles and breakthroughs this week may god exceed our expectation i declare my god shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory through Christ Jesus. Yes. Somebody say good news three times. Good news, good news, good news. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen.